How's it going, everybody? My name is Beam. Welcome back to your altcoins. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about a few things. I'm going to talk to you about the market. I'm going to talk to you about Twitter. I'm going to talk to you about a coin that I've got my eye on. And I'm going to talk to you about an ICO that I'm very, very interested in, that I'm pretty much going to spend probably about 5,000 US dollars to get in on because of what they're trying to do sits very closely to my heart. Now, we'll get into that. But first, we're going to take a look at the market. Market cap of 500. And 51 billion. Not bad. Not bad considering it was down as low as 4.3. Why did I say 4.3? 438 billion before. So being up to 551 billion, not too bad. Bitcoin looking very, very good. Ethereum looking very nice. Stellar up 31% over the past seven days. EOS looking really, really good. I like EOS. V chain up 64%, but down in the past 24 hours. Steam. This is gaining some, uh, can I say Steam without sounding totally lame? I'm not going to bother. It's gaining some momentum. There you go. Steam is gaining a lot of momentum. And the fact that this is a social network dedicated to cryptocurrency people, it's very interesting. Full disclosure, I'm not involved in any of the currency I just mentioned. I get drilled on that all the time. Not involved in anything. Actually, the only thing I'm involved in is Ethereum. Sitting my money in Ethereum right now, waiting for this ICO to open up. We'll get into that. But first, we're going to take a look at Twitter. Just want to say thank you to everyone who followed me on Twitter. We reached 2,000 followers, which is awesome, at your altcoins. I tweet out some of my very hardcore videos, some of my very good videos. For example, the video I posted earlier today about the best ways to know when to buy and sell using some technical analysis. I thought that video was really cool. And I want to say thank you to Philicone Crypto for, you know, teaching me through his videos how to do this and allowing me to teach you guys through my video how to do this as well. So don't forget to follow me at your altcoins and don't forget to follow Philicone Crypto because he's also amazing. So using that technical analysis that we talked about in the previous video, I want to show you HShare. I almost mispronounced the name. This is HShare and I'm very interested in it. Let's put this down, take a look at it. Remember how I mentioned we're on the one hour chart, that branching out blue over red kind of concept? It's doing some pretty good work right here. Doing some very good work right here. So what has me interested about this? One, the fact that it's breaking out on the one hour chart, which is also showing on the two hour chart as well. What has me excited about is that and the fact that if you scroll back, that is very low compared to here. This is about three times. This is a three X gain from this point to this point. But guess what? That's still at the highest. This is about a 7 or X gain to its highest back in November of 2017. So just want to bring that to your attention. That eight share is gaining some momentum here. You can see the four bands. This is on the two hour chart. The four bands are doing pretty good. If we look on the three hour chart, four bands just breaking out on the four hour chart. Four bands are just about to break out. The red still over the yellow, but in another four hours, maybe by the end of the day, that should be up and high above that in the proper blue, green, yellow, red order. And the last time we've seen this, let's go back to the three hour chart because we can still see it. Boom. The last time we've seen this on the three hour chart, we have to go all the way back to here when it was at nearly double, more than double. It was more than double its current value. The last time we saw the branching out of the bands, it's been nothing but collapsing for pretty much the entirety of 2018. Actually, in fact, 2018 starts here, guys. It's been going down for the entirety of 2018. And this is the first time it's showing some real life. Eight shares. This is the Ethereum pair. You can take a look at the Bitcoin pair as well. Just want to bring that up to you because I noticed it thanks to somebody on Twitter. Who who showed me that on Twitter? Who was it on Twitter? I think it was Cheds. I think it was Big Cheds who I followed and talked about the other day. He's talking about OST right now. He says OST is going up. He's talking about WTC. Maybe it wasn't Cheds. Who was it? Found it. It was this fellow, Asian Crypto. This gentleman informed me that 8share was breaking out. That's why I want to bring that information to you. Be sure to follow him on Twitter right here and check out his Steemit account right here. Right here, him talking about 8share going out like that. So I'm not trying to take credit for the fact that I discovered this was breaking out. I just want to show you guys that it is so that you guys can make some decisions on whether you want to invest in this or not. Make sure you look at the website, go to the website, figure out who they are as well. Pretty optimistic about that. That could be the beginning of something. It could not, you know, we never know. I mean, the market's crazy, but just something I want to put on to you guys. Moving right along, let's start talking about ICOs. So this website right here, icoalert.com is like one of the best places to discover different ICOs, either in pre-ICO or in full-on ICO. 
And the one I'm looking at is upcoming. Starts on the 1st of January. We're still in pre-ICO technically. Here it is. This one right here, Medical Chain. I'm not the first YouTuber to speak of Medical Chain. I believe Crypto Bobby talked about Medical Chain the other day. He brought it to my attention, luckily. Personally, I'm not sure if many of you know this. I'll actually say right now, I'm Canadian. I'm very proud of the Canadian. And I'm very proud and very happy and appreciative for our healthcare system because I've had some pretty major surgery on my left lung when I was much younger. So this struck very close to home, struck very close to the heart or the lung. So I want to take a look at it and dive deeper into it. I took the time to read the white paper and I'm very excited by the team and I'm very excited by the white paper. So basically they're a blockchain for electronic health records. Would it be amazing to have all of your health information, whether you've had surgery, whether you are on me this medication or that medication, your entire history of health records on a blockchain, thereby making it immutable and only edited by practitioners of medicine. So that if you go to a hospital in another state, in another country, in another city, province, whatever, they have access to your one health record that is stored decentralized, as opposed to having a copy of your health record in that hospital, and then a copy of your health record in that hospital you visit, et cetera, et cetera. Wouldn't that be really amazing? This is a practical problem in the business medical world that this ICO is trying to solve. Medical Chain uses blockchain technology to securely store health records and maintain a single version of the truth. Super powerful, super useful. Medical Chain will provide immediate utilization of health records by allowing patients to communicate directly with doctors and share their health records for online consultations. Also very fascinating, online consultations. Here is their white paper. I'm going to I'm gonna bring this up because I want to take a look at something to show you. Privacy, access, and control. Medical Chain provides the patient full access and control over their data. They will have the capability to provide differing levels of access to various users. So you, the patient, have access to the information. And you, the patient, will provide different levels of access to various people. So your one doctor, your pediatrician, doesn't necessarily need to know that you've had you know, heart surgery. Unless they need to know, then you can give them access to that information. By assigning a set of access permissions and designating who can query and write data to their blockchain. So you, as the owner of your own health data, decides not only who can read the specific data on the blockchain, but who can add to it. Which qualified doctors that you like and you agree with, and you want to actually trust with your information, can add to your blockchain. Super powerful. Putting the power of your medical information in your own hands with the power and decentralization of a blockchain. Amazing. Lots of information to read here. Feel free to take a look at it at your own time. I'm not trying to shill this product because as of obviously, I'm not involved yet. It's still available for sale. As the ICO starts on the 1st of February. For those of you asking, it is done through Bitcoin or Ethereum. I'm doing it through Ethereum. Off the top of my head, there is a $5,000 USD limit to how much you can spend. And each token is worth 25 cents equivalent of either Ethereum or Bitcoin. So each token starts pre-ICO or sorry, in ICO as 25 cents. There is a total of 500 million coins. You know what? Let's just go to the white paper. I'll show you. Here's a link to the teams and advisors with LinkedIn stuff, some articles written about them, social links, all the necessary information is here. Very clean website. Let's get to the white paper. I'm not going to bore you with reading the white paper. I've already been through it. I'm fascinated by it. I encourage you, if you're interested in getting in on the ICO, to read it yourself. Let's scroll down to page 31. I know it by memory because I've been through this. Scroll down to page 31. Here's a roadmap. Back up, back up. Here we go. Token sale. Medical Chain's ICO will be capped. Very useful. I like having a capped ICO. At raising $24 million. That's their cap. $24 million. That's what they want to do. Equivalent of either ETH or BTC. Issuing 500 million tokens, of which 35% will be offered in the pre-sale and crowd sale. The remainder are kept. 34% will be retained by the company and team, and 31% will be retained for community development, for educating others, supporting node holders. Apparently, there'll be nodes. That's news to me. Bringing partners into this platform, etc. cetera. Oh, nodes. I'll do some reading on that. Starting on February 1st, 2018, participants will have the ability to contribute and receive med tokens in exchange for their Ethereum by sending Ether to the designated address. You do that through the ICO registration process. During the ICO, MED tokens will be distributed at an exchange rate of one token to 25 cents equivalent of ETH or BTC. Offered before this date at a discount 
in pre-sale. Obviously, we missed the pre-sale, so we're getting in on the regular ICO sale. So quick math, 500 million tokens, 35% of which are available for pre-sale and crowd sale. So times 0 0.35 equals 175 million tokens in circulation. The rest are held by the team and retained for community development. We're not having access to those. 35%, so 175 million tokens in circulation. 25 cents per token, which means if you put in the maximum of 5,000 US dollars, you will receive 20,000 tokens. I did a quick search through the document talking about nodes. The nodes are not like Dash, where you can make your own master nodes and make your own profits. The nodes are actually going to be secured by nonprofit organizations and hospitals and things like that. So us as owners of the tokens cannot create our own nodes for our own profits. All the nodes securing the blockchain will be nonprofits, hospitals, etc. That answers that question. That is medical blockchain. Very excited about it. It has such a great project that is trying to solve. And I can imagine this working globally to have everyone's records in one place would be just phenomenal. Even if not globally, just within North America or within Europe, it's very, very powerful, the potential of this ICO. Remember, ICO Alert is pretty much the number one place to find ICOs. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. I just love this website, just like I love cryptocurrency market capitalizations. Again, not sponsored, just mentioning that for you guys. You can actually go through here and check out every single ICO that's available. It's amazing. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at your altcoins for to keep up to date with the altcoin community. And as always, thank you very much for watching.